Number 39. Calculate the delta G notch for each of the following reactions from the equilibrium constant at the temperature given. Okay, so we have N2 gas plus O2 gas yields 2 NO gas. They told us that we have a temperature of 2000 degrees with a Kp, an equilibrium constant of 4.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now, in essence, we have a K value and we want to find a delta G. There's only one formula that puts the two together. So if you want to find a uh, delta G value and you have an equilibrium constant, we're using this formula right here. It's delta G equals negative RT times the ln of K. Now K, capital K, is the equilibrium constant. I don't care if it's Kp. I don't care if it's Kc, Ka, Kb, all the Ksp, or you know, Ksp, any K value, any equilibrium constant, anyone is good here. We're trying to solve for that standard delta G. That's why there's a little notch up here. That means that it's standard. But we have three variables here, right? So let's go through them. The first one is negative R. Now, the R is a constant number. The R value is 8.314. Now, the units for R is 8.314, and that's joules per mole times Kelvin. So just keep that in mind. We're using a joule value and we have Kelvin. So when we move over to the temperature, that's why we have to convert this Celsius into Kelvin. The units have to match. So the first thing I got to do is I just got to turn that 2000 into a Kelvin value, right? Because that's the number that's going to be used for the temperature. Celsius to Kelvin, you could just plus 273. Now, you could plus 273, you can plus 273.15, it does not really matter. The answer at the end of the day will be very, very, very similar. But we're all about specifics here, so I guess we could add 273.15, right? Won't hurt. So 2000 plus 273.15 is 2273.15. Okay. And that's the number that's going in for that temperature. LN is the function on the calculator, which I will get to in a little bit. But it's just that equilibrium constant, and that is 4.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, we got everything. Let's plug it in. Delta G for that reaction will equal the negative is in the formula. So it's negative 8.314. Close that up, times by the temperature, 2273.15. Close that up, and now it's the ln of 4.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. Good thing about this is that if you slew this all into your calculator at once, it will be able to get the answer. So let's do it. Delta G equals, got to press the negative, 8.314 times 2,273.15 times, now the LN button is over here, LN, so that's just a natural log, 4.1. Now, me personally, I like to use the EE button for my exponents. The EE button is right over here on the calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say second comma, that's the EE, that means times 10 to the, and then I just say negative 4. I love using this button because if you use that button, you, you know, your, your calculations, especially in denominators, will not be messed up. And then enter. Look at that. So we get 1, 4, 1,400, actually 147,399, actually, we'll just say 400, right? Okay, joules. Now, I say joules because that's the unit of the R value, right? This is joules per mole, because technically these two units did not cancel out. The Kelvins canceled out, but the joules per mole did not. Now, we don't like to keep delta G in joules. That's why this number is so high. So let's just divide it by 1,000, right? Remember, going from joules to kilojoules, 
So it would be kilojoules per mole. All you have to do is just divide by 1,000. So if I take that value, I divide by 1,000, I get 147. Now, sig fig purposes, there were two sig figs here. We don't use the 2,000 degrees Celsius because we use this Kelvin value. So we go by the units for the, the K value. There was two sig figs, so I technically need two sig figs in my answer. This would be like 147, but this rounds up to 150. This uh, trailing zero does not count because I did not put a decimal in there. And that is your final answer. So the delta G here would be a positive 150. And that's it for this one. Non-spontaneous, because it's a positive number. And there you go. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all are having a great day. Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.